All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to make your own uh, better peanut butter. Um, I am going to be using cocktail peanuts, my little food processor here, and the magic ingredient, coconut oil. Okay, so now just so that you guys can get an idea of um, how much exactly I'm putting in there, I have a one cup measuring cup and I have a tablespoon. This is actually an adjustable spoon, it's really cool, so you can get a different amount. Um, it goes from one tablespoon down to a teaspoon. Um, but we're going to use tablespoons as a measurement. First things first, we're going to take peanuts. Just gonna dump them and fill up the cup with one cup. The way that I normally make this peanut butter is kind of by eye, so I'm gonna go slow with it and kind of give you guys an idea of um, exactly, um, you know, exactly how much is in there uh, of each ingredient. So this I'm gonna pour into the food processor. Um, might have a couple that fall out. Um, And it looks like I have enough room in there for another cup. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with another cup. And it's not, whoops, it's not really important that this is exact because um, it doesn't, it's just not important. So this one's filled up almost all the way. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab some of this coconut oil um, so that's about a t tablespoon there. I'm gonna go ahead and tap that in there. I'm gonna give it one more tablespoon. Uh, there we go, one more. Okay, so I like my coconut oil a little bit sweeter so I'm gonna put in good old Splenda okay I put in five packets of Splenda and the last ingredient I'm gonna throw in there is cinnamon and I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it That's it. Go ahead and put this lid on here and blend. So you can see, like, the top section here isn't folding in quite yet. This is bottom section, needs to get really liquidy in order for that to come down and sort of blend in there. Okay, you can kind of see how smooth it got real quick. Open it up a little bit. I'll let you look inside. And we got peanut butter. Uh, so the perfect thing to actually keep your peanut butter in is an old jar of peanut butter. This is the peanut butter we usually buy when we buy. And you can see that there's six grams of carbohydrate, two grams of fiber, so there's four net carbs per serving. But when you look at peanuts, four carbohydrate, three, car three fiber. So there's only one net carb per serving. And the serving size is exactly the same on these. It's about 28 grams, the serving size 32 grams. So you're better off eating the peanuts rather than the peanut butter unless you make your own and then you can add uh, the coconut oil, which will bring the fat up and keep the sugar out of it. So what we made only filled up this jar of peanut butter that much. So I'm going to make it in batches and uh, hopefully fill up the jar. Boom! Okay, so you can see we filled up almost all the way. Not quite, but it's really runny in there. But that's what's great about using coconut oil. 
because coconut oil is solid anything below room temperature, so below about 65 degrees. And uh, as soon as you put this in the refrigerator, within about an hour, it'll be completely solid. Um, it'll actually be a little bit, it'll be much more difficult to scoop out of there than regular peanut butter, but it'll melt very, very easily. So that's it. You can actually use the same method as well on any type of nuts. You don't have to use peanuts. Um, peanuts are just super cheap, and peanuts themselves have really good macros. Um, again, four total carbs, three fiber. That's only one net carb per serving. Most of the uh, fats in there are monounsaturated fat. Okay? And by adding the extra coconut oil, you're actually adding quite a bit of saturated fat as well. So you're getting a really, really good product here. Uh, another little trick is to add either collagen protein or gelatin protein into this. Um, you don't need very much. I wouldn't add more than about 25 to 50 total grams of protein. Uh, vanilla whey protein might work as well, but that might make it a little bit clumpy. You'd have to blend it really, really well together. Um, but that'll add not only a little bit of protein, but it will make a complete protein. So this could be an actual real food. Um, because peanuts by themselves are not complete. Alright, thanks guys, we'll see you next time.